In this video, I'm going to install Boise's Low Energy Sapphire Nitro Plus RX474G28 Plus Megahash Per Second BIOS mod. You're going to need a few things installed or downloaded before you start. You're going to want the AMD drivers 16.9.1 or 16.9.2. Make sure that you have this installed before you flash your BIOS, else you might get a black screen and your graphics card might not work in Windows. Just go to the AMD website and download that. Next, you're going to want Sapphire Tricks downloaded and installed. So go to Sapphire Tech and download Sapphire Tricks. Next, you're going to need ATI WinFlash downloaded onto your computer. You want the new version available, 2.74. So click on that link. And then when you get to the 2.74 page, click on Download Now. Select the server you want to download from and download that. Last, you're going to want Polaris BIOS Editor downloaded from GitHub. Click on Clone or Download, Download Zip, and Download Polaris BIOS Editor. To get the 28 mega hash 470 OC Nitro 4 gigabyte Boise ROM, you can go to his post in the Ethereum Community Forum and download it, or you can go to the description and I'll put a link there and you can download it there. So before we start, you're going to want to make sure that your VBIOS switch is switched to the side closest to the HDMI and display ports. We're going to want to flash over the silent BIOS, not the overclock gaming BIOS. So make sure that your switch is switched towards the side of the HDMI and display port outputs. And I like to flash my cards with one card in the board at a time, so if you have other cards, you can take them out of your board and then start up your system. When you get into Windows and start up your miner, you will see that the 470 is hashing away at 22 mega hash per second. Before we flash our RX 470, we're going to compare Boise's BIOS with the original overclocked gaming BIOS straight off of the 470 card. So I'm going to open two Polaris BIOS editors. On the top, I'm going to load Boise's BIOS, and on the bottom, I will load the overclocked gaming BIOS. Now, before you flash your card, you're going to want to make sure that the vendor ID, device ID, sub ID, sub vendor ID all match your card. If they match, then you know that you can flash your card. If they don't match, don't flash your card. First, he made changes to the GPU megahertz, to the GPU frequency. He downclocked all of the frequencies, except for the first one. Then we can see that he's overclocked the memory frequency from 1750 to 1945. And he's undervolted the memory from 1000 to 955. The next change he made was to the TDP. He increased that from 85 to 100. And then he changed the max temp and the shutdown temperature. Shutdown temp from 94 to 90, and the max temp from 90 to 85. The last set of changes that he made were to the memory timing strap. If we take a look at the values, we can see that he's copied the 1500 value to the 1750 timing and the 2000 timing. And then we can see he's copied the 1425 timing into the 1625 timing.
And last, we can see that he's copied the 1375 timing into both the 1425 and 1500 timing. So those are all the changes he did. We can close our Polaris BIOS editors and go ahead and back up our silent BIOS from the card. We'll open ATI WinFlash. Click on ATI WinFlash and run as administrator. Now you want to click on save, find a destination folder to save your BIOS and type in a name for the silent BIOS that you're going to remember. Remember to add .rom to the end of the name. Now click save. It will tell you when it's saved. You can click continue. And now we can go ahead and load his image. We'll open his image here. We'll open his ROM. And then we can click program to flash the card. After this I'll show you how to do it through the command prompt as he recommends doing it through the command prompt. He says don't do it through the GUI, but the GUI has always worked for me. So now we'll go ahead and we can flash using the command prompt. I'm going to copy the directory path to ATI WinFlash. Then I'm going to open the command prompt as admin. Once it's open I'm going to type in CD and then I'm going to right click to paste in the directory path and I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to type in ATI WinFlash dash F dash P zero with spaces in between them. I'm going to go and copy the name of his ROM. I'll select all and then copy. I'll go back to the command prompt, right click, and then I'll hit enter to flash the card. Remember you only have to use one of these two ways to flash your card. He recommends using the command prompt, so you may want to use the command prompt and not the GUI. But again, I've not had any problems ever using the GUI. Now it's done. It says restart system to complete vBIOS update. OK. And we'll restart. Once we're back in the Windows and we've started the miner, we can see it's hashing away at 27 plus megahash per second at about 100 watts. We can make that a little bit better. We'll open Sapphire Tricks. And we will decrease the GPU voltage as much as we can without crashing the system or the card. You'll have to play around with this and see how much you can decrease it. I'm using negative 100 here. I'm going to apply that. And right away we can see that the card's gone down to about 80 watts, which is pretty good. You can see the mega hash per second does not change. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that helped and thanks for watching.